Hello guys, welcome to all and web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress Metabox tutorial for beginners and this is our part 4. In this video session guys, we will see that how can we handle our callback functions for add Metabox WordPress function. And also guys, for the previous section of code that we did so far, you can download that code from this GitHub repository. Okay, so if you go to the browser and now this is the GitHub repository where we have uploaded our first code that we did. So if we click on this file, now you can find all the code in this file right now that we have made some of the means meta boxes to our pages section, to our post section as well as for the custom post type. And in the previous video session guys, we have seen that how can we add our meta boxes to the dashboard section. So all these sections of code guys we have seen so far. So if this is your first video, then I strongly suggest you to watch our previous video session to get the clear vision about this video session. Okay, so just back to editor and now this is the plugin that we are working on. Okay, so basically guys if you have remembered that while adding the meta box at the pages section. So if you go to administrator panel and this is the latest version of WordPress that is 4.9.8. Okay, so just clicking on the pages section and now click on add new. So basically this is the meta box that we have made called OWT page meta box. Okay, so if you go to the code this is the code that we have added okay so successfully in the third parameter in the third parameter we have passed this is called the callback function which is basically responsible to means make the appearances of this meta box okay makes the layout setting of that okay so uh, now if you're talking about the post section so this third parameter is also responsible to handle layout section of this meta box to the post section Okay, and also for the custom post type that we have made, custom post type, the third parameter that is WPL or WT book function, basically this is also res responsible to make the layout setting for this meta box at custom post type. So if we go to admin panel, and this is the custom post type that we have made that is books. So if I click on that, clicking on add new, so this is OWT book meta box that we have made. Okay, so right now what we are going to do, we are going to do make some layout for this meta box. Okay, we are going to feed some more informative information to this meta box, which is must be useful for the users. So let's back to editor. And now inside this book section that we have registered, this is the meta box. Okay, so just copy this callback function. If I copy that, let's say that function. And this is the callback function of our custom post type. So let's say that callback function for meta box at custom post type book okay so this is the callback function which handles the layout setting of the meta box at the custom post type book okay so let's feed some of the information to the user so within this php tag guys i go i am going to write some of the HTML elements, some of the HTML means tags to handle the layout settings. We are going to feed some of the information to the user. Okay, so let's say within this paragraph tag, let's say that this is custom OWT meta box for post type for custom post type. Okay, so this is the normal information that we have feed, and also let's say within this paragraph tag, let's say that GitHub link okay just cut this text and let's wrap inside this anchor tag okay and in the anchor tag let's say href and now i'm going to put the url of that so just copy this github link go to editor and just paste it here so let's say that target equal to now let's say blank okay so if i save this file go to browser just refresh this page now we can see that this meta box contains some of the information to the user okay so this is custom wt meta box for the custom post type and this is the github link so when i click on this link we will be redirected on this link so successfully guys we had provided some of the information to the user by our custom meta box so basically we have passed only some of the information to this meta box if we want to make some of the form elements like input type element something wants to enter something wants to take from the user we can also make that okay so just go to editor 
okay now suppose if we want to make the sum of the input elements to take the user values so how can we do that so let's make first of all comment these lines because we don't want to these lines to this meta box okay so now what we want to do we want to take the publisher name because we are going to create some of the books we are going to create the book section okay so finally if we create any of the book from this form we want it we want a publisher name also okay so let's provide a publisher input type text box inside this meta box okay so just go to editor and let's say that div inside this div let's make a label which says that publisher name okay and now let's say that input type text basically name element let's say txt publisher name okay and also let's make a placeholder for that placeholder it says that publisher name okay so just copy this go to label and let's say for this okay so if we save this file go to browser again and just refresh this page and now as we can see that apart from the information we have an input box called publisher name where the user actually fills some of the publisher name and we want to save that value to the database field according to these values according to this post okay so this is an input element guys that we have made inside our custom meta box that we have made okay so just back to editor so basically guys this is the form that we have made with this custom box callback function okay so why not we can pass the nonce value also with this form field because in our wordpress data and plugin security guys as i think you have seen those playlists then in that playlist we have discussed about the nonce value okay the whole concept of nonce field value that how can we pass with a form and how can we validate to the server each and everything we have learned our playlist called wordpress data and plugin security this is available on online web tutor channel okay so why not we are sending a nonce value with this form means what we want we want that while saving this information to the server while sending these information to the server we want to validate that actually this request is valid or not okay so let's do that so how can we do let's use wp nonce value filled and now inside this wp nonce field we have to pass some of the parameters okay and the first parameter is called the action so how can we pass the action so basically let's say base name okay so inside this base name we have to pass the file path so basically for that we use file okay in the second parameter guys we need to pass called the name of this nonce value okay so let's say that wp OWT and let's say that custom post type nonce okay so if we save this file go to browser again just reload this page and now if we inspect this element if we inspect that let's click on inspect and now we can see that two lines of code are actually added by the WordPress and as you can see this is the first line this is our nonce value and this is called HTTP referrer so basically guys these two lines actually protects or validate our request from the server to the server okay so successfully guys we have made our form our custom form inside our custom meta box to the custom post type okay so in our next video session guys we will see that how can we save how can we save this data to our database table with this form fails with this form fails means while saving while creating any of the book from this post section then taking the values of this book we will save this publisher name also but remember guys this book name means publisher name will go inside called post meta by the help of the post type id okay let's create some of the books let's say plugin development and also let's say that this is test class okay and now if we pass publisher name let's say that demo value if we save that click on publish and now after saving that we can see that we have value in title section we have value in description section but now we have no value inside this publisher name because this value has not been saved to our database table okay so in our next video session guys we actually see that how can we save the value of the custom meta box to the database table so basically guys to save the value of custom meta box to the database field we use called save post action hook this action hook we will use in our next video session to save this value to the database okay so for this video session guys i think that we have now clear understanding that how can we make our callback functions 
layout functionality where we actually make the layout section for our custom post type and this is the form that we have made and for the simplicity this is the information parameters this is the information that we have provided before this input box okay so according to your need according to your use if you want to give your custom meta box as the information box to the user you can just specify some of the informations according to this HTML elements or text but now if you want to take some of the information from the user a part means while taking the information of the post type pages or any post then you can make the form fields okay and also guys in the next video session we will see that how can we save this data to our database field too so in this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day